quick update before the review. We actually want to start owner's review, reviewing your own car on our channel. So we actually need your help. And we want to make this global tour, but why don't we start from Korea first. I'll leave my email below here, so let me know a little bit about your car and also let me know your contact number if you're interested. Okay guys, now let's get back to the review. Hello, welcome to Asian Petrol. It is June. 16th here in Korea. It's about 7 p.m. So good evening to you guys. Today we have another Hyundai Palisade for a night drive. Not just another Palisade, but this is actually calligraphy trim, which Hyundai just have added for 2020 year update. This would be very close to uh, your and also take her for a drive. And before we begin, if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Let me just start showing you the car from the outside. Um, you know, the headlamp system, we also have full LED headlamp system. So it's actually very, very same. We're going to just put a B-roll showing you. Uh, this is DRL, turn signal, headlamp, high beam. There's no fog lamp. And this is what horn sounds like. Same um, grill design here, but the grill pattern itself actually have changed. Um, it's very noticeable. You know, my Hyundai Palisade has a different grill, but this one actually has a triangular shape pointing downward like this. 360 camera. Um, radar sensor for the adaptive cruise control and also they have revised the low bumper design and, and they also have added this skid plate on the bottom. So guys do let me know what do you think about you know the new grill pattern and revised grill and low bumper design as well in the comment section and also skid plate. I, I personally think you know there are too many details. If they just made it a little bit more cleaner, I would like it. But uh, let me know what you think about overall new front design in the comment section. Okay, um, let me also show you the engine room. Right there, that's how you open it. Um, okay, here in Korea, you can get Hyundai Palisade with two different engine choices 3.8 liter v6 with which my hyundai palisade has which makes about 295 horsepower but you can also get it with 2.2 liter diesel which what our tester has uh, it makes about 202 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque it's made it to a speed automatic and um, our tester also has a uh, all-wheel drive system which is called a track um, we managed to do the uh, 0 to 60 time. Um, it took about 8.9 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour. So, you know, it's pretty not bad for a diesel. And I'm going to show you how it feels and um, also tell you a few reasons why Hyundai sells it with the 2.2 uh, liter diesel here in Korea. Because I know in North America, you can only get it with 3.8 liter gasoline engine, right? Okay, so. Uh, Let's move to the side quickly uh, before it gets dark. Um, what is different from the side? Can you notice it? Well, first of all, they put this new 20 inch rim design. Um, guys, do let me know what you think about it. I, I personally like my uh, older 20 inch rim design better because it looks too complicated for some reason. Um, I just like it uh, with the fat five spokes this this has too many spokes uh, guys do let me know what you think about it. it's still wearing the same michelin tires 245 50 by 20 inch on the front and back it's actually a very nice tire uh, we uh, took it around the corner very hard and these tires are just holding up very nicely and the suspension is also very nice too um, they also have changed uh, one more thing from the side can you notice it um, not really big fan of it but they actually have painted the wheel, wheel arches. Um, you know, um, you know, like um, BMW does it. Um, some expensive uh, SUV makers does paint the wheel arches, but I'm not really a big fan of it because you know SUVs are supposed to, not always, but will have to go off roading. And you know, I think it just takes away the toughness of SUV. It should be like plastic, you know. So anything bumps into it it's okay right so guys do let me know what you think about it but other than that it looks pretty much same from the side okay so let me also show you the car from the uh, behind looks pretty much the same everything is same um, 
LED headlamp system, a tail lamp system. Um, dual exhaust on the bottom, but it does not say diesel anywhere. So if you're just driving this car, nobody would notice that you're driving the diesel. I think that's what Hyundai is going after. It just says a track. And when you take a look at this car and my car, same. Uh, it does not say diesel anywhere. So it's hard to notice um, until you hear the, the, the noise when it drives by. Okay. Uh, but they also have added the skid plate on the bottom. Hmm. So let me know. I, like I said, I think it's too much detail there. It says Palisade here, uh, LED uh, wipers on the top. Here we also have, you know, same deal here. 12 volt charging. You can also uh, fold the seats like that from here and also like that. Um, the third row is actually more raised, um, but second row is just release type. So, oh, look at that. Um, I know you guys had uh, ambience lights um, in the US, starting the US, but we, we didn't have uh, ambience light and just they just have added the ambient light for the um, for this calligraphy trim. So when it gets dark, we're going to show you how it looks like. Okay. So crawl system, it actually has 12 speaker crawl system. You can actually hang something here like a grocery bag right there too. So it's pretty nice. Um, okay. Um, mobility kit, uh, you know, fix a flat. This, I don't know what this is. This is something they give you. Ah, triangle, warning triangle, fire hydrant. And, um, you know, you can put pretty big stuff here too. Like we can put our tripod here. And you know it's very big, so you can also manually do it like that. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think I showed you everything about the exterior. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And let me just start the car because uh, my usually my GoPros, because it's getting hot, tends to overheat and just die on me. Okay, so here you can press this one and turn on the rear temperature as well, okay? So, all right. Okay, let me also show you the uh, third row seats myself. Okay, so you can press here, or if you're a child, if you're not tall enough, you can press this one too, and it releases very gently, and I love the fact that my children also does it themselves and they really really like it okay so let me show you the third row seats myself okay you know you guys all know I'm about six two let me just take a picture of myself um, yeah let's not do that because I have a GoPro on my head and doesn't look so pretty okay you guys all know I'm about six two and there's Good amount of leg room and headroom is also very very nice uh, if you compare this to uh, genesis gv80 uh, i would say this is about five times better back here um, this is actually usable seven seats one two three four five six seven but i would just say you know it's good for six people and you know it's got good amount of foot well and leg room headroom so if I go, even if I go on long distance journeys, I think I'll be okay back here. Um, you also have USB charging port here. You can also recline the seats like this. So about this much. So pretty good, right? Um, under the USB charging port and we have air vents on the top here. Um, you know, we had a owner's review a few days ago, um, Santa Fe. Um, and he said uh, this is for the uh, rear occupant alert system. This actually monitors um, if people are sitting back here, like let's say uh, you leave your child, sleeping child, and you know lock the car, and if you get out, uh, it's going to notify you on the gauge cluster. And if you have a blue link, it will actually also text you. So uh, like uh, if you have uh, leave your dog inside, and it will just detect the movement from here and notify you. So that's a very, very nice system. Um, yeah, it also has cup holders here. It's a very, very nice place to be. Um, 
So uh, I have my Hyundai Palace that has seven, seven seats. And uh, when we go, um, you know, long distance journeys, uh, my kids just sit here with their cousins and, you know, everybody's happy and quite happy back here. So let me also show you the second row seats. You know, that was where I was sitting. So I'm gonna have to scoot a little bit. And for this uh, new calligraphy trim, so let's see what has changed. Uh, first of all, they have added this quilted pattern on the side. I didn't have it. So guys, do let me know what you think about that pattern. Um, and also here, my Palisade also has this, but this one has a little bit bigger pattern. Um, not really sure if I like it. Um, as a color, I like my Palisade's uh, beige plus, um, you know, blue two-tone better than this 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 looks like a khaki uh, blackish two-tone so guys do let me know whether you like um you know beige color brighter color or dark color like this okay suede on the top um and uh everything else is pretty much the same like i told you we're going to show you this uh changing but it has ambient light up to second row seats okay just up to here there's no ambient light for the third row, but we're gonna show you the color pretty soon. And it looks pretty, pretty nice. Um, yeah, because we Koreans, um, specs did not have the ambient light. They just have added for this 2020 year update with the uh, calligraphy trim, okay? So window comes down all the way like this. Full automatic, very nice. Uh, Manual sunshade for the side. Um, my Daughters really love this. <laughs> and we also have uh, two cup holders here. And there's also storage area right there. Cup holder right there. Two cup holders here. The one bigger one up front and one smaller one. Map pockets here. And you can also, you know, leave your phone like this because actually there's USB charging port right here. We're actually charging our GoPros because we're just running out of batteries nowadays, just taking too many um, shots. Okay, so uh, we still have uh, three stage heated and ventilation seats, which is very nice for the second row seats. There isn't any for the third row seats. Um, temperature control, um, you know, you can choose the flow of air speed. Okay, and that's for the, the right person. and. Uh, 12 volt charging, USB charging port on either side, walk-in device for lazy people like me, and we have a dual roof on the top. Um, the, the front one only opens, and this one is just a shade. You can open it or close it, so it's very nice. Uh, you know, reading lamps here, it's full LED inside, so it's a very comfortable. Um, so yeah, do guys let me know if you have any questions about the second row seats and uh, I think I'm going to uh, wait a little bit uh, for the uh, first row seats because I want to wait until it gets a little bit darker okay so let me just show you the first row seats in just a bit okay all right guys now let me just show you the first row seats just like the second row seats we have quilting pattern on the door trim now we also have semi punching pattern on the steering wheel on the side like this and most importantly, now we have 12.3 inch full digital gauge cluster. We didn't have it uh, until 2019. We just had seven inch screen in the middle, but this actually has 12.3 inch screen in the middle. Uh, it changes according to the dry mode. Dry mode selector is right here. Uh, you can go from comfort to eco, sports and smart. Uh, it uses very similar system to Sonata and also New Era or Grenzo here in Korea. And you can also press here. It wouldn't go to other side unless you press here to go to touring mode. And you have snow, mud, and sand. Okay, so that's actually very easy to use. I sorted out very nicely. And you can also change that. You can put little contents on the right side like that. So that's that's pretty good uh, shows many stuff uh, oh sorry it will show uh, you know trip computers tire pressure um, uh, DEF level that's like Ed blue for the diesel because our tester's diesel it also shows uh, it's cute right when you turn the steering wheel the 
the tire actually rotates. This is actually shows the distribution of torque front and back and I actually would love to see this sort of illustration on Genesis GV80 and also G80 because those systems, they also have all-wheel drive system, right? And can also uh, have blind spot monitoring system. Um, 2019 year model just had seven inch screen here. So when you do turn the signal, it will come put the left side or right side on the same screen, but now it has a very better screen. So guys, do let me know what you think about it, but I'm not really a big fan of the uh, RPM gauge going counterclockwise, you know. I wish, you know, they make it accurate, I mean, the to the right way, right? We also have a head-up display on the top. It's a very, very nice system. We'll show you how it looks like when it's driving. To the right, we also have 10 and quarter inch infotainment screen. Uh, it's very nice. You can have it three split it like that or can I have a big old map like that. Um, I really like uh, Hyundai's system. Um, I mean, just, uh, you know, the sound in nature, uh, they give you some sound. I don't know why they put it. Uh, but actually, this 12 speaker sound system by Corel is very, very nice. Um, you can also have it as a concert or, you know, natural. So, sounds pretty good. Um, let's just shut it off. And uh, it also gives you, you know, forecast uh, weather for now and forecast. That's very nice. Um, let me just show you a few more things. Uh, we didn't have ambient light until now. Um, with calligraphy trim, they just have added on the side up to second row seats. You can see that, right? Can you see that? And there's no for the third row seats. Um, so let me just uh, show you each of them. Uh, you need to go to the settings. Where are your settings? Setup, uh, vehicle, go to lights, ambient lights, and color. Let me just show you each of them. Polar white, you see it. Moonlight, ice blue. I think that's very similar. Ocean blue. I'm recording this one. Um, with the DSLR in case I miss it with my GoPro. Uh, jade green, orchid green, fresh yellow, sunrise red, aura purple, uh, lightning violet, <laughs> who makes all these names? So custom color, you have a 64 different color. Uh, let me just uh, put it onto red because it picks it up very nicely. Okay, uh, what else? Uh, this is also very interesting. Let's say you're re listening to radio and when you press this, um, it mutes every stereo system, the speakers, except those ones on the front end. It also mutes, the uh, lowers the volume to seven, so you don't bother anybody. But poor guy, you're driving alone and you you're gonna have to press this button and you drive alone, everybody's sleeping, so that's, that's, that's quite sad, okay? So, but if you're a family man, you know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, passenger talk, uh, actually, uh, can you hear that? Uh, actually, whatever you talk here is sent through the speaker at way at the end so that you can talk to third row passengers without yelling at them, okay? So, uh, yeah. I use it all the time with my kids and uh, they really love it. Okay, so uh, I think I showed you everything about the car. Um, you can also, uh, one interesting is uh, when you, uh, I think you might not have this in, um, in uh, North America, but we also have something called sound now. When you uh, press this button, it will actually um, tell you which song it is playing. Let's see. You don't even need to be playing it. You just need to press it. Right now it's playing something and it takes a little bit while. I think it takes like over five seconds and it tells you the name and uh, who played it. So I, I think it's pretty nice system because I, sometimes when the radio plays, I'm like, hmm, whose song is that? And I, I never know. And um, that's a very nice system. And this, so this 10 and quarter inch system is, I think it's very, very nice. You can 
you use the uh, car to home, I don't know um, how to use it, but you can actually turn, suppose they turn the lights of your house from the car and you can actually do it vice versa. Okay, so uh, you also have button type gear selector. It's very straightforward to use. Just press it onto, you know, drive parking. So it's very nice. We also have 360 camera system. It's very nice. You can also zoom in. And my Hyundai Palisade, we got a firmware update uh, over the year. OTA, these guys have an OTA update feature and they just have added. And I really like that um, Hyundai is doing that kind of sort of stuff. Um, so this is a very, very nice camera system. Okay, so I think I told you everything about the car. We also have wireless charging pad here right there and some cup holder and i really like uh whoever made this uh cup holder should get a you know vacation or something because that's a cup holder right you can hold it like this and use as more storage room when you get a juice or something like that you can use it like this so it's a very nice system and uh, we also have a uh, one fast usb charging and 12 volt charging and some coin holder here oh and somebody also wanted me to uh show you the Apple CarPlay so let me not forget this time um, so you just gotta plug it here not anywhere else and um, and it works very nicely and uh, one thing that I, I tried it many times but you cannot full size the uh, Apple CarPlay and I don't know why um, you know I wish it was full screen maybe Hyundai's doing that so that people use more Hyundai system um, I personally use always use Hyundai system because it's it feels a lot easier to use and you know now they now they also have a you know split screen so uh, and this is what Apple CarPlay looks like phone music map message uh, now playing Hyundai you can go back to the Hyundai like this um, and a podcast audiobook um, calendar um, that setting that's Korean map um, WhatsApp Genie that's like a Spotify Google map and that's another Korean map. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So I think I told you everything. Heated steering wheel, heated three-stage heated and ventilation seats for both passenger and driver. So I think I told you everything about the car. So why don't we go out to the road with Hyundai Palisade with calligraphy trim with 2.2 liter diesel. Okay. All right, guys, now on the road with Palisade Calligraphy with 2.2 liter diesel and um, feels pretty nice. Uh, I'd like to just tell you how it feels like to drive this diesel. I know in North America, you're not going to be able to buy this 2.2 liter diesel, but because we got the press car with 2.2 liter diesel, I'd just like to briefly tell you how it feels like. Uh, first of all, visibility is uh, very nice, uh, just like my Hyundai Palisade. It's, it's very nice you can trust me on this because you know this is my daily driver um side mirror bolted below and it's got big windows so it's actually very easy to see out of the car and um, now it's got blind spot monitoring system on each side with alert system so it's very very actually easy to drive and you can get lots of help when you're you know kind of making lane changes in heavy CC traffics okay and we also have adaptive cruise control with the lane keep assist and this also has a stop and go functionality you know Volkswagen calls it traffic jam assist so it will come to a full stop and if the lead car departs it will actually follow it says uh, after like five seconds is you have to actually use the switch or put your foot on the pedal to uh, engage the system again uh, it's a very good system and um, yeah overall the the gauge cluster and infotainment screen is very easy on your eyes uh, I like I told you I have seven inch infotainment screen but this looks pretty nice as well and um, we also have auto hold so I don't have to be keep on stepping on the brakes uh, when I'm stuck in the traffic and um, yeah 
so it feels pretty good what about the diesel um, you know I got my Hyundai Palisade uh, with 3.8 liter V6 because you know if you followed my video I drove a Hyundai um, Veracruz about 12 years and that had 3 liter V6 diesel engine and uh, I really loved it it had an enormous amount of torque but after a while I just started getting lots of uh, you know vibration and noise and I just got sick of it because I drove it for 12 years and this time I just got it uh, with 3.8 liter gasoline engine and after driving for about uh, you know how long did I have it about uh, seven months and after then I drive this 2.2 uh, liter diesel and I still love my you know gasoline engine but this one efficiency wise is very very nice um, uh, when we check the uh, the MPG test it returned about 27 miles per gallon in the CT driving you know me commuting to to my house and back and forth and when we was cruising on the highway about 90 to 100 kilometers per hour it returned over 45 miles per gallon so it's very very efficient my hyundai palisade and city driving usually returns about 18 so um, this this is very nice and although this is diesel it also has auto start and stop so when it comes to a full stop um, if the auto start and stop happens it's dead quiet it's just like my hyundai palisade so it's it's one of the good thing but um yeah it's it's uh the vibration of course you can hear and uh, feel it uh, once the car is let's say uh in the stoplight when you're stuck in like this you can actually feel the vibration it's they got to uh they made it uh they got to a very good point but it's still there so um but once it starts rolling, I'm going to show you precision about 40 to 50 kilometers per hour. Then you start noticing a little bit less than 40, 50, and you don't actually feel like, oh, it's diesel. You won't be able to. So if you're mainly going to be driving this car for uh, long distance journeys, uh, if you have to commute a long time um, every day, and I, I think uh, diesel should uh, serve you very nicely uh, but on the other hand if you just commute short distance and if you don't drive a lot I think uh, you know gasoline engine should be better because uh, you know diesel you have to actually drive a lot to uh, you know take advantage of the fuel economy okay so see right now we're driving 40 50 and you start noticing and it just drives very nicely. Um, its peak torque starts uh, around 1750 RPM. So this is large car, heavy car, but um, compared to uh, my Hyundai Palisade 3.8 liter gasoline engine, this has better low end torque. So you can just, this guy just uh, stuck on which gear? Eighth gear, it just pulls the car very nicely, you know, up the hill. So gasoline engine when it goes up the hill or when it needs some power it just upshift but this guy just look it's just stuck in there just pulling the car very nicely um, and of course this this car right now we're in comfort man of course this car is not a sports car or anything like that um, but it actually pulls the car very nicely look it's just pulling pulling so I don't have any complaints like I told you in low speed it you can feel the noise and vibration but other than that it feels very very nice I'm, um, I'm sure if you guys are watching from Europe you guys do have lots of diesel model and comparing this to uh, any other model I think they got it to very competitive um, stance in terms of noise and vibration so very good job um, Let's put the car into sports mode. There's no um, sound generator in this car. So let me just let you hear it. This is full throttle in sport mode. So yeah, this is, this is no sports car, but it's actually pulling the car very linearly all the way throughout the RPM range. So. And it feel, also feels very, very stable. So.
And I got a question on YouTube comments um, saying, you know, is this Hyundai Palisades quieter or quiet as Genesis GV80? My answer is definitely no. Um, Genesis GV80 generally, I think it's it feels a lot heavier and more substantial because they put lots of sound deadening and this one actually feels pretty good up to first row seats but I'm hearing more road noise coming from the bottom and also from the second row seats because we have double laminate windows up to first row and just single windows from the uh, second row so that's uh, in terms of noise um, Genesis GV80 and Genesis G80 is better in terms of noise um, level and um, but this this car actually um, oddly also handles very nicely if you ask me does this Genesis GV80 handles better than um, Hyundai Palisades yeah probably yes uh, because it's rear wheel driven bias all-wheel drive system and this one is a front wheel bias uh, all-wheel drive system but this actually handles very very nicely um, but Genesis GV80 handles better because at the limit, at the corner, if you, um, Genesis GV actually has all-wheel drive system actually pushes all the torque to the rear and actually the, the, the tail actually pops out and just helps with handling. But this one, it doesn't do that. Um, it just understeers. So you're going to have to actually handle just with the steering wheel. But, so, but uh, I'm kind of amazed. Uh, Every time I drive this Hyundai Palisade, nice. it really, you, really you. knows it how to handle and it just surprised time. me. It sort of leans at first, but after a certain amount, it just cars. sticks. You it just becomes stiff and it just takes corners really nicely. Okay, so this Genesis G80 is a little bit scared. So, so yeah, it feels pretty good. Um, let me just uh, show you the, we also have a speed automatic. Um, so, a speed automatic three four five six seven eight seven six five four so compared to uh, a speed automatic from uh, my Hyundai Palisade with 3.8 liter v6 this one is a little bit slower but I would say it's a very very nice setup for a diesel so I, I have zero complaint about a speed automatic with torque converter it's it's very nice pulls the car very nicely and also shift smoothly so I have no complaint about the system and I also like to show you um, this torque being sent through front and rear let me just here if you if we floor it um, when it's cruising, it's, it only sends the torque to the front. But uh, if we kind of floor it, let me just show you. This is flooring. If you floor it, then you see that the torque actually splits 50 to 50. Hold on, let me just show you one more time. It doesn't do 50 50, but it will start splitting the torque initially and then gradually it will become front wheel drive okay so it's 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 quite a nice system okay and uh, i wish they also add this illustration to genesis gv80 and also g80 because those guys also have all-wheel drive system and i like to see how the torque is being distributed this one actually just uh splits the torque and sends it to front or rear but uh it's quite a nice system and um yeah so overall uh, i know you guys are not going to be able to buy this car with 2.2 liter diesel in north america but just wanted to share it's 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 quite nice um so personally if you ask me i will still buy my hyundai palisade with 3.8 liter gasoline engine I, I think it just depends on your lifestyle I just commute a little bit you know daily and I don't drive that much so I chose my Hyundai Palisade but that guy like I told you it takes a lot of gas compared to this one I think this will take about uh, you know 
about one third less gas um, and uh, it's cheaper diesel is also cheaper here in Korea so yeah but uh, you know I don't like like I told you I'd rather because I don't drive that much I'd rather like to just have smooth and quieter um, driving experience so but when you turn it back to comfort mode it actually becomes quieter right so if I were you I would just leave it in comfort mode and when you feel like driving then you can just turn it back to sport mode okay so it's a very good system I mean we also try to show you the uh, rear cross traffic collusion avoidance system this car has because I brought my Hyundai Palisade um, uh, during the daytime review and I just really like to share that clip right now because it's really amazing okay let me just show you rear cross traffic collusion avoidance system because we have my Hyundai Palisade let's just say you're backing out without noticing the car passing by and Hyundai Palisade will actually apply the brakes for you and also alert you so which should be a lifesaver very nice so how did you like that? I really, really liked it because one time uh, I was driving in very heavy rainy day and I was backing out of parking lot. Uh, it was just pouring and this, I, I think there was like a lady who was, uh, you know, just, just walking by my car. I, I, I really didn't see her and, you know, my Palisade just start beeping like crazy and it applied the brakes uh, immediately for me. And I just looked back and I just saw her. I was like, oh my God. Um, that was like my lifesaver I think I think all the you know driving age just pays for itself so if you're getting you know Kia Telluride or Hyundai Palace I would suggest you get the tech pack or whatever you call it um, all the driving age you can because you know, can just set up the you know cruise control like this um, and it will steer for you look we're on curvy road it will steer for you and keep a safe distance with in front of the car so I mean you know what can you ask I mean of course it's gonna ask you to put your hand back on the steering wheel let me just how long it's gonna take it's been like 10 seconds um, I think around well 20 seconds I think it depends uh, if the lanes are clearly marked and if there's no curves uh, it will wow <laughs> just keeps on going very nice so like I said uh, always uh, keep your hands on the steering wheel uh, right now I have set it to 90 kilometers per hour and we have a camera detector uh, the speed limit is about 80 kilometers per hour in this area and look it's slowed down see command 90 is saying no 80 and because we have a camera detector right up there which is very nice and right now after a quiet while it says keep your hands on the steering wheel so i would suggest uh if you're getting you know new hyundai or kia products uh, i would say strongly suggest you get all the tech package so i mean this one the blind spot monitoring system i think alone i think it's worth the money okay so it's a very nice system and what else do i have to forgot to tell you um 360 view is very nice um yeah i mean navigation uh, I don't know if that's worked for North America but here in Korea we have the all the map maps and everything uh, gets updated regularly over the year so I don't have to be plugging into the USB or anything like that it just says uh, update here press to update and just boo, everything goes inside so it's quite a nice system um, and some of you guys complain that you're not getting the same model like a Genesis G80 you're not getting the same model in the US and I don't know what is going on I hope you guys get all the features and every technology uh, we get here in Korea to the US so that you can enjoy it okay so yeah so let me just uh, put it back into sport mode and let you hear the car one more time so these are yes uh, no initial big push but it gradually pushes pulls the car very nicely and this Genesis I mean <laughs> Genesis sorry it just got to so got to have it became a habit um, 
this Hyundai Palisade actually, even with 2.2 liter diesel, actually pulls very, very nicely. I'm very surprised and it's, look, it feels very, very planted. So I think it's, uh, and um, good brakes. I think it's uh, after maybe uh, Mr. Bierman came to uh, Hyundai. Not only um, they're working hard on the WRC and the racing, but I think all this, uh, you know, data, uh, their knowledge getting from the racing. It's great that I think that just applying it straight to the regular car. So I really know it, notice it because when I test drive this car, it's like a, every year every model it becomes more stable and becomes just planted and just handling wise i'm really surprised and when i when i uh drove uh, hyundai like 10 years ago i really didn't like hyundai's because it was just on the freeway it was just all over the place because it was just so what do you call it it was so soft it was like a boat every time you go a bump and you know, you could not really drive fast with it. But I think after, since uh, Mr. Beerman came, um, they started getting better. Um, when you start cruising fast on the freeway, it, it just became more stable. And even cornering nowadays, like I told you, this Palisade will, I think will outhandle many German cars, uh, German SUVs. Uh, and so it's really nice to show Korean cars, you know. It's, first of all, it's, I'm proud that my country actually builds a car. And, you know, not only builds a car, but it actually makes a very good one, okay? So, yeah, guys, do let me know what you think about it. I'm just gonna put it into comfort mode because everything quiets down. Um, so, let's just put the uh, adaptive cruise control and, um, yeah. See, it feels even on this curvy road. Look, it's just handling itself uh, very nicely. Yeah. So this one does not change the lanes for you, okay? So. All right, guys. So do let me know what you think about this calligraphy trim. I think if you're watching from North America, I think this is very close to Palisade Limited. So this has been our night drive with Hyundai Palisade calligraphy with 2.2 liter diesel. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll be back with more car reviews. So if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys. See you soon and stay healthy. Bye bye.